Hello, that's Tony Iredom. I'm Richard Porter, and this is Five Minutes Free Association. Tony, uh, Green Bay Packers. Wow, Green Bay Packers, 4-0, just like the Dallas Cowboys. And, of course, those two teams meet in November. Brett Favre, when I think of the Packers undefeated, I think of Brett Favre, I'm thinking, you know, maybe this is his last year. Maybe he just knows, and he's summon, summoning all the energy he has, all the big plays, and coming around and Packers are beating some good teams. They're beating the Vikings in Minnesota. They beat the Philadelphia Eagles. They beat the Giants. And it's going to be a big, big matchup with the Cowboys in November. And, uh, you know, you start off like the Cowboys in Green Bay have right now, and you're probably going to reach the playoffs. Um, Plainview Bulldogs. Plainview Bulldogs have had a rough start to their year. Uh, understandably, they're a bunch of underclassmen. Uh, I think they're getting better with each game. Uh, we've talked about this before a after the games you know they're two and three on the field it just they've had some strange things uh, in the uh, special teams happen to them that's made them 0 and 5 uh, I think you know they're a bunch they got a bunch of sophomores but I think at this point of the season they're not sophomores anymore they've played their non-district schedule they've got one more non-district game uh, up to this point, record really hasn't counted. In one more game, it's going to start counting. I think we'll see an improved, an even more improved team then. Uh, I think they'll have some some games under their belt. They played a tough schedule. Wichita Falls, Ryder, Randall, Cornell, those are tough schools, even if you're not a bunch of sophomores. So I think they're going to be all right. Chicago Cubs. Chicago Cubs. Curse of the Billy Go will it finally go away. Of course. I like it, and I think it's good for Major League Baseball, Richard, when the Cubs, the Red Sox, and the Yankees, at least one of those three teams are in the playoffs. And now all three of those teams are in the playoffs. And, of course, again, the old curse of the Billy Goat thing going with the Cubs. You had two curses going a couple of years ago. Boston got rid of theirs. Can the Cubs get rid of theirs this year? I think the Cubs are one of those teams that the entire country is pulling for and if their own personal team like yours Atlanta me Rangers aren't in there we kind of like tend to cheer for the old cubbies Notre Dame football overrated at least in in, in the recent years uh, they just they, they don't they don't have anything they haven't shown me anything I've never been a real Notre Dame fan uh, it aggravates me that they have their own network. Uh, the Notre Dame Broadcasting yeah. Company, NBC. Yeah, that, that, that drives me crazy. That, that, they certainly don't deserve it. I know they've got a big fan base. A lot of people across the country want to see them. I'm not one of those people. Uh, I just I just think, especially over the last four or five years, they've been way overrated uh, to, to the point of it almost being comical in some instances. Uh, New York Yankees. And by the way, you know – what I said about the New York Yankees back in May and what's happened. Well, I was just about to say that. You're yeah. just feeling my thunder. New York Yankees, the only person I heard that said the Yankees had a chance, and this was when I first got here back in late May, early June, was the man to my left, Richard Porter. I guess you're right, Richard. I mean, you said yeah. don't ever count the Yankees out. And, of course, now I didn't stand up and disagree with you. Yeah. In my mind, I'd be thinking, I was thinking, I have to admit, well, probably not this year. But I didn't verbalize because I knew you were right that – I knew they'd at least make a run. And the thing about the Yankees is, is now they got all that momentum going in. And wouldn't you just love to see another Yankees Red Sox American League Championship Series? That would be fantastic. It would be good for the game. Bread pudding. Had some at lunch today. Seriously. No I had, way. I, I had no some way. at lunch today. Uh, this is completely ad lib because I just scratched my nose on, on the camera. Uh, had some at lunch today. We went to the. Uh, first responders luncheon at United Methodist Church and the guy that fixed the meal fixed uh, jambalaya and bread pudding and it was pretty darn good. I haven't had a lot of it but it, what I had today was pretty darn good. Uh, Todd Hilton. Wow, what a big game last night, Colorado Rockies, San Diego Padres. It's always like that extra game. You know, anybody said, let's play, let's play two, you know. Yeah. Well, let's play 163, and that's what San Diego and Colorado did, of course, last night. And I can't remember what the inning was, 11th or 12th inning. You know, San Diego comes in with two runs, and you think it's over with, and Colorado comes back with three in the bottom of that inning. Very, very exciting. I think every season should end that way. Well, uh, <clears throat> we're fixing to get the five-second countdown, it looks like, so we're going to start wrapping it up here. Uh, this is Five Minutes Free Association. Thank you for tuning in. We will see you next Thursday.